there. Come on in. Hey, what's up, guys? John Cat from Hail the Sun. Welcome to our humble abode for this tour with the sound of animals fighting. We're here in Chicago. We're having a great time. Austin over here, our tour manager uh -huh. and sound engineer. Uh, last time you saw us, we were uh, in a van named Serena, our dear Serena. So it's been a little nice upgrade over the years. We're happy to be here and happy to keep doing it. So here we are up front in our, this is where the magic happens. When we're not awake, our driver Derek handles everything up here. Uh, kind of an interesting take on this one, you know, compared to a bandwagon. This is similar to a van where it's nice open, so it's cool for the driver to, you know, talk to us when we're not secluded, usually like it's up, cut up up front. So this is where it all happens. I think it takes diesel. I'm pretty sure it drives about 65 most of the time. And, uh, you know, it's got your standard cup holders up here. As you can see, uh, Rockstar Energy, you got to keep going. Uh, and then some sort of a GPS system probably doesn't work, but, you know, we use it. Uh, and this is basically where uh, this gets us to our next venue every day. So this is the holy pit right here. All right, here you can see we got a nice big fat TV. Uh, it does not connect to a cable television, which is okay, because most of the time up here we're hooking up some gaming methods. I believe there's some Mario Kart action most of the time. What else we got? We got Mario a lot Golf, of yeah, Mario, Mario Party, Golf, Mario Wii. Anything Mario. Yeah, and you got a nice sound system, as you can see. Oh, that was on the old bus. We got a nice tiny sound bar right here, Sony, shout out. And then uh, basically it just, you know, when we're bored about 3 a.m., and not nothing to do, this thing's gonna be on, glaring. So over here you can take a look. It says do not sit. Key word, the last time we used this bus, this it was already broken. Not us. We didn't do it, I swear. But so you can't sit on it. It's made for a good workstation. A few of our guys work in a few jobs. You're gonna see Shane in the back here in a second. He's with Ubisoft. He's he's working up here countless days. And Donovan, uh, a booking agent who's just a biz the busiest man I know. He's somewhere working right now. This is where the magic happens. On the work side to keep everyone going. So. Oh, so this thing is pretty interesting. Uh, the last tour we took this bus out, the generator went out. So what we did, Austin went and bought, well, I guess the band, we, we bought it all together. It's a big old battery, essentially. It charged literally everything in here. When the, when the power was out, we were charging our phones computers. I mean, yeah, you name it. So this thing came in handy. It's also good for camping. If you go camping, uh, I recommend this. The Yeti 500X. Shout out to Yeti. This thing's baby. All right, so what, up here we got our storage containers. We got about, I don't know, eight, ten. They don't hold a whole lot, but you know, small backpacks, small critters, if you ever want to take a, uh, a pet on board. We haven't done that, but I would say this would be a good uh, suggestion for putting a pet up here. And then also, if you keep any uh, extra chia seeds, we uh, we definitely like the chia seeds here. And your Crest Advance, can't go wrong with that. So, great storage space up here. We just got this one yesterday, so. These ones are kind of harder. Yeah, like we have shoes down here. Oh, there's Under the floorboards down there. It's kind of hard to fit stuff because there's these. Mostly shoes. Support. Also small critters. Um, <laughs> This is kind of food area up here. As you can see, uh, Shane's, I think, grandma gave us a tin of ginger snap cookies. So if you'd like any, please help yourself. And then, you know, you got your Nutribullet. We've been drinking some smoothies and eating some sandwiches. So we, we're doing okay, you know. Down here, we got the fridge. If you want to take a look in here, this is your essential band fridge. You got a couple Miller Lights, okay? Baking soda key ingredient in keeping a fridge clean. I don't know what it does, but it does something. We got some hot sauce, voodoo, hot and spicy. And then, you know, you got your uh, grapes, maybe a little bit of whiskey flavor, who knows, you know, maybe celebrate a little bit. And then, of course, leftovers for food that will go stale if you don't put them in here. So, fridge is where it's at. That's a great thing to have. Up here, we got our countertop which should be clean, but uh, as you can see, when you're living on the road with 10 other people, things are just gonna end up here. But we all try to keep it down. Austin is a genius, as he put Velcro 
on the Febreze. And that's a key thing because when this puppy gets moving, things start flying. I have seen it at first hand. Soap, sink, you can't go wrong with this sink. This is where we brush our teeth, where we wash our hands. Uh, this is where we Lysol. You know, we got our cleaning things going on here. Vitamin C, definitely got to stay healthy on tour. It's, uh, especially in the winter time, got to protect that immune system. And then a coffee maker. This is actually pretty cool right here. We have never toured with a functioning coffee maker at any given time. Do we use it? No, we do not use it because we don't have any K-Cups. But we're looking forward to getting some K-Cups, right, Austin? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get some K-Cups really, really shortly. So that's a good countertop right here. Up top, take a look, microwave. Some people would say, some people would say you can't do anything without a microwave. I've never met that person. But I know these are very handy. If you want to do a cup of noodles, uh, some other noodle dish, heat up some noodles. pizza, a lot of noodles. We do a lot of noodles on this, on this bus. Uh, pizza, uh, it's great. And then of course, functioning paper towel roll. What? Take one right now. My mouth's getting a little wet. So there we go. That's the kitchen area. As you can see right here, there is a door. What you may ask, what is behind this door, is what you think it is. It is a toilet. Hopefully nobody peed in it. Uh, no, good. The top is down. That's good. Uh, this, this one is weird. If you could take a look in here, I don't know if you can see. We got this flushing mechanism. It took me uh, almost 24 hours to find that before I flushed my first toilet here. So the first day was a little rough. But uh, we got to it. We figured it out. And it stays clean in there. No shower. The shower is okay because some of these venues are fortunate to have showers inside that we can use so we can stay clean. It's those stretches when they don't where you really gotta, you really gotta fend for yourself. Maybe take a, a shower, a sink shower. Uh, as you can see, the sink is quite small. It's, you can maybe get a foot or two in, but uh, other than that, it's not great for cleaning your whole body. So hopefully we can find those showers down the road. Yeah. Okay, back here. So back here we have a working chain. He's a busy man. He's constantly working, providing for his family and his animals, and he's working at Ubisoft, making games for you. So you better thank him. Thank him right now. Look how hard he's working. As you can see, he's got a second screen, and I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty sweet as it folds. You fold it, it's good to go. He carries it everywhere he goes. It's called a side track. Side track sidetrack for you. It's clutch. And look at his like, workstation. This guy knows how to work on the road. Am I right? Up too. He's, he's in his work mode. So this guy's impressive. Working day in, day out. Yeah, so this this bus is kind of special and um, compared to a bandwagon where usually there's a shower and the bathroom in the back. This one just ends and we it basically gives it just a bedroom feel with the door right here. We're able to shut it so the sleepers can have a good time out there. The partiers have a greater time. But with this one, you get 11 bunks, which is fantastic because we don't have 11 people. So we have a junk bunk. As you can see back here, this is where everyone's suitcase ends. Funny thing about this, I woke up this morning with a suitcase hanging off and I whipped my head up and hit, I hit it hard. So that was a fun time. So I had to push it back. but. You know, it's great space, it's unique, that's why we like it, and uh, we uh, think we're gonna keep going with it. So, we just tuck in this little sheet right here. This is not my bed, my bed is right here. Not much to it, just some socks, some shirts. Not very clean, but that's, that's tour. Okay, we're gonna be real. We sweat every day, we try to shower. What are you gonna do? Okay, what are you gonna do? But, that's why we're here. And as you can see here, we have three bunks per row, but up here, two. And why is that? They're a little bit bigger. So we graciously gave Shane his so he could work, and he's doing a good job, and that's fine with us. And then up top is Austin, our dear Austin, our tour manager who's constantly working. Give him the big bunk. And I think we're all pretty comfortable with our bunks. We have a good setup here, so. That's where we're at. That's where we're at here in the sleep room. Well, guys, thank you for checking out our bus. It's been great. Uh, we're having a great time here on tour. And uh, most importantly, please check out our new song, uh, 
uh, it was called something else. It's called something different now. Mind Reader. There it came. It, it came to my head seconds later. Mind Reader. Check it out. We have a lot of new music coming out this spring. And uh, looking forward to any future tours that are coming up. Please come out. Check us out on uh, Hail the Sun, Instagram, Twitter, Bandcamp, Spotify. And hope to see you guys down the road. All right? Thank you.